Well, everyone, here we are at McCaw Hall, and this is the 2008 gala opening of the Seattle International Film Festival. I am Nancy Guppy, and this wonderful man is... Robert Horton. And we are so delighted. We're going to be here all night get, getting the excitement of opening night, looking at all the groovy stars. Um, go, yeah, you can feel it, can't oh, yeah. you? Oh, yeah. yeah Cut it with a knife. Yeah, the, 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 the excitement, the tension, a fork, a knife, a spoon, a spoon maybe um, some sort of a, well, a utensil we'll of some sort. The, well, we will cut it. Over. Um, so we'll also, we've got lots of clips of all sorts of, of movies that you're going to want to check out during the festival. We'll kind of splice them through our hour-long coverage. We'll also go to the post-movie uh, party, and we'll ah. kind of hobnob with the stars. So um, are you feeling good? I'm not so sure about the hobnobbing, but yeah, you okay. can tell me about I that. I think you're going to be a good hobnobber. And by the way, I'd like to point yes. out, this is a gala. This is a gala. And I'm wondering about no you, button, please. Button. Yeah. yeah. By the way, who are you wearing? Who are you wearing? What designer? I know that's kind of, you don't really understand I, that. I but. don't know what you're saying with those words Okay, that you're using. well, ask me who I'm wearing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who okay. are you wearing? Okay, who am I wearing? I am wearing Value Village. This is a skirt, a short and a skirt. These are from Nordstrom. These are from Zappos. Zappos, uh, this is from like vintage, some vintage store in Fremont. And I think I stole this from somebody. But anyway, wow. so, now, what do you think? Is it a good look? I think you look great, Nancy. Thank you. And I think you look at your makeup looks excellent. Never looked better. I'm not wearing makeup, so that's <laughs> a strange thing. Okay, so we should, um, huh. let's get to it. And we're going to kind of just kind of hobnob around, look at everyone, talk with everyone, and we're going to bring you a fun night. Glad you're here. Every year we, you are here at the festival, you are one of the best, I think, volunteers around. I like to have fun. Well, yeah. I like to go to movies. You like to go to movies, have fun. I volunteer because the festival needs help. I think and you're... it's important for everybody to help. By the way, tell everyone what your name is. My name is Steve Smith, and I live on Beacon Hill in Seattle. And how long have you been doing the volunteer thing? Since the start. Since 34 years? Just about, yeah. So you're 30, what, 7? 38? Wow. I'm, I'm 63 now. <laughs> you are? Wow. Okay, I almost... just retired after 33 years for the city. Right on. And, well, and I always try and wear something different to fit the theme of what the, the movie is. It, for the opening night? For the opening okay, night. Okay, so give us so, a so feel I've about got, this. So I've got my old peace button on. Sure, because of the Battle of yeah, Seattle. Battle That's of what Seattle. Movie is. Yep. And then oh, to do it appropriately. Oh my goodness. Wow. It is it is important to show wow. your real okay. feelings. Peace, earth, love, peace, America, uh, love, uh, that. What's that? Uh, that's a butterfly. Sure, uh, <laughs> Butterflies are lots of fun. That's right. And look at, his, look at his socks. If you'd like, I could take you out in the field and show you some. I would love to. We'll have to do that another time. Yes, wow, I understand. look at that. Fantastic. Well, you look great. You're yes. bringing a lot of excitement and life well, to this opening night. Well, it's fun to be silly. I've it been is going, fun to be I've silly. I've been going to this film festival for most of these years, and I've never seen this man before. I think we should call security. Actually. Oh, okay. Okay, well, oh, you, oh, well, you well, get right on In, in that case, I'll pull out my staff pass for this year. That's because, a better pass than you have, Robert. So even even though, even though, <laughs> I, don't even even though I always... I buy. I always try to buy a platinum yeah. pass and support the festival. I also do volunteer stuff. Yeah. So. so is this going to be a good year, a good festival? Oh, it's going to be a wonderful festival. What I've good. seen in this preview so far are just amazing. It's just awesome. It's just a wonderful festival. Right I'm on. really looking forward to well, all the movies. Thank you so much for coming and looking great as always. Perhaps and we'll put some you. pants on. <laughs> oh, no. Did I forget those? <laughs> I better run okay, home. Run home. Get your pants and okay, come back. I'll okay, come back. You, you have time. Okay. See you at the party with my pants. Okay, yeah, right. good. Okay. okay. Nancy, uh, no one is supposed to go over that barrier before... The, Before the stars VIPs come, come. Yeah, Charlize so Theron and all those big correct. people. Okay. So we have to. We have. To we we can't do that. No. Okay. Well, so what do we do? We're just gonna go. Are we gonna get in trouble? Uh, okay, Robert. When you have the kind of clout in this town that I have, Nancy, you don't worry about <laughs> those things. Uh, we don't worry about trouble. I'm yeah, with yeah. Robert Hart, and there's no trouble. It is a blazing red carpet. Wow, my feet feel hot. See the hot. people's heads swiveling on the side. Everyone's like going, "Who are they? Who are they? they? They're not famous." Yes, we are. Wow, Nancy this Guppy, feels really Nancy good. Guppy. Hey, um, <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yes, thank you, darling. Yes, of I just course. Just for a second. Okay, what do, what do you need? What do you what need? Your, what's um, your fondest memory of the WTO? Uh, our WTO. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. My fondest memory was when I broke that huge plate glass window at that Starbucks downtown. I felt it was powerful. It was a powerful moment. And what did you yell out? I, um, no, no, no. I was kidding. No, no there's no plate glass. There's no, um, what did I yell out? I yelled out, um, Viva la, uh, Seattle. Shake Guevara. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sh yeah, Shea Guevara, exactly, exactly. All right, get so, out of um, here. By the way, what are you excited about during for this festival, for real? There's like, what, 400 million films? I'm looking forward to the old stuff. I like archival films, as they call them here, although that always makes them sound kind of dusty. Yeah, and dusty and kind of crinkly. They're usually more interesting than a lot of the new movies. The new movies? Yes. Okay, okay. Hey, we got a clip of Night Tide. Take a look at that.
boundless power ties these two together in a love tainted by strange, sinister terror. The siren song of the sea. Pulsating like a bongo beat, calling, driving the sea people. I'm all about yeah. documentaries. Documentaries, yes. There are over 50 documentaries Beagle. in this year's festival. Yeah. See, I really did read the material. You did, see, we were lying but before. Just kidding. Uh, 50 documentaries, that is often the most exciting part of the festival. Absolutely. You can make a whole festival within the festival about, just on documentaries. Just the documentaries, that's what I kind of focus on. When Don and Chris first met, his close friend Evelyn Hooker, a psychologist studying the gay community, said that it couldn't go on. Big name people were friends of Isherwood, Tennessee Williams, Truman Capote, Igor Stravinsky. What would it feel like to be sitting down to dinner with Somerset Mom when you haven't developed who you are yet? Chris and Don were never apologetic about being a couple. They would go to Hollywood parties when closeted people were surrounding them. If you just bash the heads in of three people, now I'm a mafioso, and I say I want you to kill for me, now you say you can't? A friend and I have been convicted for a crime we did not commit. We can look for the evidence, but we won't see it because we didn't do it. The problem with police, when wrongful convictions are proved years after the fact to have in fact been perpetrated, there is never any redress. Am I biased because I love my brother and I know he's innocent? Of course I'm biased, I'm his sister, but I also know he's innocent and that jury didn't get to hear all the reasons why. By the end of the night, it was no longer a business meeting. It turned into love. And it's being considered an accident and only that so I just kind of took the shirt and wrapped it around and got it as tight as I could hold it and just waited there. That lady had the knowledge to help Claire to she